Good morning, my mountain climbers, hikers, trail runners, mountaineers, adventure peeps. It is Coach K coming to you direct from the mountains, my friend. Oh, woo -hoo -hoo. and just came from my power sculpt yoga class to you right here. So I'm all limbered up. And so what I'm bringing to you today is one of my favorite style workouts. Although my favorite style are power classes. This is a flow, but what I'm bringing into this flow is primal. And you're going to be seeing that a lot this week, interweaving primal exercises because they're so, they're, they're a combination of strength and grace and mobility, flexibility, mental presence. Love it. So I'm going to bring a little bit in today, but first I'm going to start by asking you one word check-in. How are you feeling now? How are you feeling before we start this flow? Be honest. Whatever it is, could be stressed, could be anxious, could be joyful, could be free. Drop a one word in, in the chat and just drop in what that word is and just BC before class, before class. We're gonna check in again afterwards. So let's get the party started, my friends. Now, we're gonna start. This is a hiker's flow. Now this flow can be done before a hike, after a hike, during a, a big week's hike that you have in between any time can be done anytime this is more of a flow and stretch flow so i'm going to target most of the areas that you will tighten up in doing a lot of hiking during training or actual um your week of hiking now this type of flow i would do when i'm doing my hut to hut tours and we're doing yoga first thing in the morning or after the hike high up in the mountain with a gorgeous view this is what we would do so I'm gonna have you start in a child's pose, grounding, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, just exhale, feel your presence as you hear the sound of your breath, dropping everything away from the shoulders. Feel any type of tension or stress, just roll off your shoulders into the ground. Inhale the shoulders up into your ears, create that tension. And on the exhale, lengthen the exhale. Just feel everything kind of drop away. Your spine is long. There's space between the vertebrae. And this time, exhale. Pull that breath right into your root chakra. As you, as you slowly move down, extending your fingers forward, opening through the chest. Press the fingers, grip them into the ground. Press the feet into the ground. Roll the belly in tight. We're going to roll all the way, touching each vertebrae. And allowing the hips to drop, opening through the core. Draw the shoulder blades back. Look up. And taking the body back. Slide the hands to the knees. Now we're going to open a little bit in the wrists here today. We're not on the hands as much as in our power class coming up that we're gonna do on Monday. That's, that's one that you don't wanna miss. Really juicy. So just give your wrists some love. We're coming into this flow. And now we are going to start in a dorsiflexion on the toes. Hands can relax on your thighs. So this may be easy for some, very difficult for others. We wanna to aim to be about a minute here, opening up through the toes and the base of the feet. Lengthen the spine as you continue to breathe right in behind the belly. Exhale, making that sound as you exhale, drop the shoulders. If you cannot sit up like me, do the best you can, use your hands, take a little bit of weight off those toes, but still go into the position as best you can. One more breath here. 
Lengthen through that spine, through the crown as you exhale. Now we're going to the plantar flexion where your feet are straight. This is a big one, and this is one that a lot of people have problems with when they um, lack the ankle mobility. So ease into this one. You may have one side that's up and the other side flat. Ease into it. You might need a block or a big cushion to gradually work into this, or have your weight forward and do the best you can. So I'm sort of assuming I'm right in the middle. That can be super easy if you find that, that you don't feel any stretch there. What you can do is you can do knee lifts. I'm extend lifting the knee up one side at a time, giving that little bit of extra opening. So in the shin, in the front of the ankle. A couple more. So good. Lengthen to the spine once again. Land those hands in the center. Let's go into three cat cows. Expanding, stretching through the back, creating space. Inhale through the nose as you draw the shoulder blades down, pull the chest forward. Exhale, press. Inhale, pull the chest forward. One more time, spread the fingers, push every finger into the ground. Now from here, draw the knees up, suspend it over the floor, engage the core, lift into downward dog. Now lengthen the spine first. Maybe in the beginning your heels are up a bit, totally okay. Slightly bend the knees to have your full upper body in length, long and strong. Breathing in the energy from the earth, pull that energy up through the arms, elbows, shoulders, to the peak of the mountain which is your hips. On the exhale, just allow the heels to drop. Imagine you have weights on those heels and they're just naturally being pulled down. Core tight, open through the chest, separate those shoulder blades. Don't forget the most important thing of all, your breath. And it's beginning to rain. So let the sound of the, oh, you guys won't hear it because I'm on microphone. Now, if you want to feel more stretch in the calf, raise one leg and just press that other heel down, a little more concentrated hamstring calf. Try the other side. You'll feel it. So these are at different level if you want to go a little deeper. Now I'm going to do a loaded beast wave here. Pull the hips back, belly tight, make a wave through that body as I come forward into that plank position. You can drop the knees any time, everybody. Lower down, flatten the feet, shoulders back, draw them down your back, press the feet into the floor, tighten your core, inhale, lengthen through the spine, come into a cobra, squeeze the glutes, exhale forward, down, slow. Now push up, back to that down dog. Maybe you can go higher this time. Maybe the heels just drop by nature. Again, you can go into the individual leg with the leg up. Stretch into that calf. Switch the other side. Pull the hips. Now from here, we're going to walk to the back of the mat and just come into a rag doll. Release anything that needs to be released from the day, moving from the hips, going down, your back all the way into the ground. Maybe roll out through the wrists again, shaking everything out. <sighs> Come into a half fold, look forward, lengthen, spine tall. Exhale, melt over the thighs like a blanket. Slowly make your way up. Inhale high. Exhale down, coming into the hip hinging motion, hands on the hips, bend forward and just feel where you can feel it grab and now come back up. Engage in the backside body, coming back down. So you can add a little more in triceps, upper back and come back up, tighten that core. Or you can keep the hips, the hands on the hips and lift. So after a long hike or long training, this will be enough just to go in those areas that tighten up. Now you can do this 
individually. Bend one knee, keep the other one straight. So this side is very tight for me, so it really benefits when I do them individually. Two more individual. Keeping that spine tall. Super important keeping this tall. Inhale the arms high. Exhale forward fold. Walk forward carefully, cautiously. And coming into that plank, lower down. Exhale, close the legs, engage the inner thighs. Press the feet into the floor. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, drop. Pushing up from that push up back to downward dog. <clears throat> Give yourself a couple breaths in that down dog. I, it's getting warmer, so I'm just going to remove the jacket as I readjust. Staying in that down dog. Staying with a breath. Drawing that spine nice and tall. Now I'm going to get you to raise the right leg and then turn it to the left, just allowing gravity to pull that heel down, open through the hip, into the core, also stretching down the back side of that left leg. If that's too much for you, just stay into a leg raise. Just do any part of it that you can. Turning back center, lunge forward. Coming into a low lunge, extend that arm up. <sighs> Take it from a high arm, coming to a lizard lunge on the inside of the leg. Draw a straight line from the heel to the crown of the head as you look forward and just feel that long line opening up into the hip flexor left side. Inhale, lengthen, draw the shoulders down the back. And exhale, push the hands into the ground, step back into your down dog, press the heels back down. I'm going to roll forward like a wave, engaging that core, drop the knees anytime. Exhale, lower to the floor. Press the feet down, come into a cobra, or if you wish, come into an upward dog, draw the shoulders down the back, feel the opening through your core. And moving back to down dog. Left leg up, inhale, option to turn it over to the right, pressing that right heel down, lengthen through the arms, press the fingers into the floor. Next round, we're going to be rolling out that hip. Feels so good to open up and just let gravity pull the heel down. Come forward, lunge. Open that left arm. Line up the shoulders, breathe into that hip. Now take it into the lizard lunge, hands on the inside of the foot. Hug that left knee into the shoulder. Right heel to the crown, lengthen, look forward. Feel that long line, draw it up, core is tight. Opening through the hip flexor on the right. Inhale, lengthen. Press through the floor, step back for more. Let's do another wave round. Option to drop the knees anytime, lower down, cobra or upward dog. You flow for you. Wow, we have rain and sun at the same time. Now this time we're gonna raise the right leg up again, fold over so you can hang out here again or you can just draw a circle with your knee Circle with your knee and just rotating through that hip, gauging all the, the smaller muscles of the hip as well as we rotate it. You can just keep it hanging or roll that hip around. Come forward, lunge. Now I'm going to come up into a high lunge just to hold, just to add a little bit of heat. Open through the chest. Inhale, lengthen, connect to the core, exhale, open. Inhale, exhale. Now lower that knee down. This is a little different stretch hip flexor now. So notice how I have the knee in closer. 
Now I'm going to intentionally do that pelvic tilt here. So that posterior tilt as I'm lengthening, squeezing the glute on the left side. So I'm getting a little deeper in the hip flexor there. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add on a quad stretch. Now if you need, like I need now, a little bit more padding. <laughs> That's better. I got hard wood underneath this. Then you can add in a quad stretch by grabbing the heel or grabbing the foot. So everyone's going to feel this differently. Everyone's body is different. Okay, so really, if, it's, you, if this is pretty easy for you, squeeze the glute. Keep the core tight so we're not overextending the back. Lengthen through the spine. Nice long stretch from the hip to the knee. This is a juicy one, post hike or post run. And release it down. Back to that lizard lunge. And we're gonna step that right leg back into the down dog. Pedal out, do whatever your body tells you to do when you get back to down dog. And just notice, oh, maybe my heels are on the ground. Maybe I feel more supple. Separate the shoulder blades. Left leg up this time. Inhale, you can let the leg fold. Keep it here or draw a circle with that knee. And just notice how does this hip feel? In comparison to the other hip, just stay in the body and curious. And now forward lunge. And we're going to come up. High lunge. So in our power yoga hour on Monday, we're going to be doing more balance and stability and core training really mixed in. Today is a little more of a flow. Now open those arms. And melt it to the floor. And now drop that knee in this time. It's a hip flexor, a little closer in. Posterior tilt, tuck in, core tight. Draw those shoulders down. Breathe right in the right side, hip flexors, add the glute squeeze as you lengthen through the spine, making sure not to overextend, core tight. When you can really kind of nail it there, you can really feel it. So I'm lengthening through my spine, core engaged, posterior tilt, glute tight. Adding here if I want to, grabbing into a quad stretch a little deeper. Like, and here come the puppies. There's one. There should be another. Yes. There's number two, amigo. Amigo. Oh, there's nothing. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Yeah. And now release. Coming into the lizard lunge. Stepping back to down dog. Yeah. Now walk back again to that hanging forward fold and just tap in to the hamstrings. Opposite side of what we just did, do a half fold. Really go deep into those hamstrings by lengthening your spine. Exhale, nose to toes. Press to the heels, inhale, lift high. Let's just do a little tap in side to side. Engage your inner thighs, make your legs like one leg Interlace your fingers, lengthen through the spine. I know you can't see me, it's cut off at the top. But I've got, I'm framing my ears as I extend high. Now I'm gonna tip over to the right side as I push the left side open. Stretching all down that left side body. Lengthen or line up the shoulders, lengthen through the fingers. Feel that bones to skin stretch. Open through the chest like a flower petal. Blooming. Inhale, lift high, core tight. Exhale, going down the left side, feel all down that right side body. 
pushing the hips out. Make your legs like one leg. Engage the glutes, the core, the quads, and more. Inhale. We're still at the back of that mat. Exhale, forward fold. Walking in, coming into that plank once again. Engage that core. Slowly lower down. Up dog or cobra, your choice. Inhale. Exhale, back down. Gonna go one more round hip. Inhale, lift, bringing it all together. Exhale, open how you want to open. If you want to follow through and come into a wild thing or flipping the dog, you go for it. The sun is shining. And lift back up. Step forward into that long lunge. Hands on the inside, lizard lunge. Open that arm to the sky as you hug that right leg in. Swoop that right arm down. Come into a high lunge. Inhale. Exhale as you open that chest. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Press that back heel down. Feel it through the calf a bit more. And now mount down to the floor. Step back into down dog. Let's do a wave through the core as you move forward. On that exhale, lower to the floor. Feet flat, cobra up dog. Lengthen with a smile throughout your body. Exhale, coming back down dog. Let me sit. Sit. Left leg up, inhale. Open the knee, do whatever you want to do here. You can hang out here, or you can land softly. Engage the glute, open to the chest. Hold that side body. As you come through, left leg forward. Low lizard lunge, going through it again. So think of that nice line from the heel to the crown as you inhale. Open the leg as you lift that arm up, hug that knee in. Round that arm, lift into a high lunge. Stabilize on that through that left heel. Open through that chest, loosening up through the shoulders. And one more. Melt forward as you take it down. Step the left leg back. And now drop the knees down center. So we're going to come forward, sitting on your butt. Coming into the hips. We're going to juicify these hips. Okay, so internal, external rotation. So let's begin with both hips. Take your knee down to the floor. Other side, just kind of supple side to side. Now these type of things you're going to feel a lot more after you've done big training but you can again like I said you can do this anytime now let's do it let's do it individually left leg stays planted just the right leg internal just focus on the internal now depending who you are some of you these may feel like nothing and for others you're gonna feel it a lot Okay, now I'm gonna go external, back to the foot. So my left side is really tight. I'm going to physio for it here. And so when I do stuff like this on this side, I'm feeling it the next day. Now I'm gonna to switch to the other side. Internal. So I'm a lot more limited there. Yeah, so just notice if you are. And now to the outside, outside, getting that mobility in the hip. And one more. And now just from here coming into a bridge. Oh, such a great postural pose, engaging those big strong glute muscles. You can always do this one in a hiker's flow. Press 
it's too, if it's too much on your hands, you can drop on your back. Now we're going to come back to this one later and then go into a wheel pose as an option. But right now, I'm going to take you into a hollow hold, some core work. We can always do core work. I don't think you can do too, too much core work, depending on how much weight you're using. But we're going to go into a hollow hold, one of the best ones. Shoulder blades up. We're going to hold for a minute. Hands forward. Tighten through the belly. You can do this anytime. We use core so much in the balance of our hiking, holding the bag up, responding to you know, losing our balance. Now, if this is too far for you, too much, just bend the knees, but still imagine that hollow scooped. You're kind of thinking, lifting the hips a bit, belly tight, starting to heat up, keeping that breath flow. Yeah, changing the legs if it's better for you, turning it on, turning on the heat. I know this is a flow, but this is part of my flow. Open it up, hold. 10 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, guide it for you. Four, three, two, and rock and roll. I'm gonna do some roll rocks we did the other day. Still engaging that core. You can call, still call these kid rocks. Feel like a kid again, like if you're gonna roll over on your back. All right, now I'm gonna roll forward. We're gonna end up at a plank. Two. Chaturanga. Up dog cobra. And downward dog. Raise the right leg up. Again, stretching the calf on that left side. Come forward, bring the knee in, moving into a pigeon. In through the hip. I mean, hiking and yoga go so well together. I remember doing this on the up at 3,000 meters in hut. You can go on the terrace, and there's always a little bit of space, especially early in the morning, to get a little flow in. And when you're doing it right in the mountains with the energy of the mountains, right around you, there's nothing like it. Lengthen your spine. And our hiking yoga series is coming up soon, starting in July. And we only have three spots left in the Dolomite hiking yoga. And then I'm doing with Barb King. The rest of them are fully booked. So if you're keen on doing a, you know, a challenging hiking tour mixed with a beautiful blend of yoga, then get, on, get in on it because we only have total, in all the tours, three spots left. Now, toe is back up. With this pigeon, some of you may need some support, cushion, lock. We wanna level out those hips. Okay, you gotta go to what is good in your body. Some of you may be restricted by something in the knee. You may have gotta pull back a bit and just go to your edge, not over the edge, to the edge and then come out of it and then come back to the edge and come out of it using your breath. And now core tight, moving back in the downward dog. See if that downward dog feels any different. Using your breath to allow deeper in the spaces of your body. Open through the chest, separate the shoulder blades. Yes, and now raise that leg up. Bringing that knee in center, cross, coming into your pigeon. Lengthen through the crown. Use your breath to explore. Now you may want to move. Kind of move around, see what feels good here. Or you can go right into the pose, lengthening through the spine and finding a position that feels good for you. Pointing that back toe, draw the shoulders down. If you're really flexible, you can still go for that length, pull the chest forward, making sure not, not to round. Pelvic tilt a little bit. 
anteriorly as you're going to this position. And coming back up. We're gonna swoop that leg around. Coming back into the bridges. This time coming into the bridge, opening through the hips, engaging the glutes. Now we're gonna go into a few one-leggers. Keeping the double leg if this is too much for you. And we're just gonna alternate here, turning on the muscles. This is also good to do before or after, just to activate the right muscles. And even after, to activate again. Turn them on. If you feel warmed up, and you're um, experienced into going into back bend. We're gonna do a, like a thoracic lift as an option. If you've never done it before, please don't do it. <laughs> I'm also warmed up from an hour of yoga before. You can place your hand, heel, my elbows are up, and my puppy's here. And I'm gonna hold for about the wheel position 30 seconds, maybe 20, maybe 10. And slow, bring it down. Again, good, hold. Just bring the knee in lightly, one side at a time. I don't invite you to do it if you've never done it, especially from just watching from a video. So if you have, you know your body. Especially you've been carrying a pack for a long period of time, getting sort of that Opening thoracically is amazing and opening through the chest as well. Opening here. All right, so we're coming back to the hollow hold. Your version of the hollow hold with the knees above the hips or fully extended. We're gonna hold 40 seconds this time. Choose what feels good for you. If you still need that little neutralization in between for a little longer, Go for it before you go into the hollow hold. Otherwise, engage, rib the hip, and right in. Play with it, keep the tension away from the neck, rib the hip, play with the legs. As long as you can keep this contained, flat to the ground, you can move them up and down, if not, Keep the legs bent. Ten more seconds. So good. In four, three, two, woo. Inhale. Exhale. You know what heaven is? Being surrounded by dogs. Amigo, Kim, Kim. I got three dogs, I'm surrounded by three dogs. Heaven, baby. Come in, Lily, come. Okay, and now we're gonna roll again, forwards. Back into your down dog, reset. Oh, now come forward, lower down, come back into the upward dog, little bit of a core stretch. Ease into it, allow the hips this time to drop. Shoulder blades down. And coming back. Just going to do a little bit of a primal crawl before we finish up. Because I'm going to be adding this in on Monday quite a bit. Gauge that core. We're just going to move forward in three steps. So when the right arm's up, the left leg's up. Vice versa. When the left arm is up, the right knee is up. Three steps, so it looks like this. One, two, three. One, keep the core engaged, two, three. One, I'm slightly looking forward. My shoulders and hips are at the same level. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now turning out. Opening the leg, pull that elbow back, flip. One, 
two, turning it, tuck. One, this is short, hang on there. If you don't wanna add too much weight to your wrist, just crawl, Shoo. crawl, you can just crawl like this. Last two, everybody, to finish up. Sick. Woo. All right, we got a lot of that coming on Monday, so that was just the little intro. Now we're gonna come into a thoracic twist here. Take your right arm through, rest your head, allow your left hand to support because you want very little weight on your head. Reach that underarm forward, stretching for the rhomboids between the shoulder blades. Oh yeah. Breathe deep. And just notice where you can adjust it. Reach more, use your fingers here more, line up the hips. Take a big breath for more stretch. And now on the inhale, reset. In between, neutralize, exhale, and inhale. Now take the other side. So engage with the fingers, press it through. Yeah, keeping the hips as level as you can. Support with the right arm. Stretch the arm, so very little weight in the head. I'm using that right arm to support and I'm reaching and I'm reaching, feeling the stretch all around the shoulder blades, which will tighten up when you're carrying a load on your back and when we're always uh, forward. And coming up, back to center, round and in. One more here and it's kind of, it's gonna stretch your traps a little bit. I'll tip it down a little more. Okay. Some of you it might be too much, maybe too uncomfortable. We'll give it a shot. Placing the arm under my body. And I'm gonna reach the left arm forward. So I'm drawing the shoulder blades down so I can kind of direct it into I feel it through the front of the shoulder and also in the traps a bit. Coming back up. And now taking the other side, taking it under. I'm on that shoulder, reaching out. Stretch the right arm out. So it's gonna feel different on each side. On this side for me, I can really get in between the shoulder blades and so those traps big time. Slowly bring the hands back in. Core tight, bring it back. Find your child's pose right here, lengthen. Open through that chest. Breathe in more space for the front side body. Exhale, any extra resistance. Roll like a wave slowly coming up. Take your left foot, right foot. Find your yogi squat malasana as you extend through the spine. Walk the feet in a little bit more. Stretch the arms forward, separate between the shoulder blades. And now raise on the toes as you open your arms and heart. Draw the knees down a bit. And round again, sitting on the heel. And inhale again, open, draw the shoulder blades back. One more time. And open. And drop down, catch yourself behind. As we do with all classes, we're gonna short, we're gonna finish with a short Shabbasana. We are in the mountains, so we're gonna absorb that energy from the mountains. I'm absorbing it right now. I'm gonna send it to you all. Allow your shoulders, every muscle in your back to just let go. Open your hands. 
just open your body completely. Allow your jaw to relax, your forehead to relax, every muscle around your neck that's been holding you up, every muscle that compensates in the body, just allow it to completely let go. Breathe deep throughout the body. Think of that light. Pull in that mountain energy through your nose. As you exhale, that energy is clearing what needs to be cleared. As you breathe in, that energy, the mountain air, is illuminating what wants to be illuminated. And the exhale is clearing, 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 clearing. Just do a few more cycles of that. As you surrender to the ground, wherever you are, illuminate every square inch of your body and clear and cleanse and release. One more breath. Allow your body to even forget the breath, letting go. Every part of every muscle, let go. Noticing the vibrations in the body. Deep breath in from the nose all the way down to the tip of the toes. Exhale long. Inhale, rounding out through your feet slowly. A circle with those ankles. And circulate through the hands and the wrists. In your own timing, maybe you take it slower at home. You can bring one knee in, draw it into the side of the body. Just a little bit of compression into the, the um, digestive system there. Pull the colon and let it go. Other side, give it a little pull, a little pumping. And now bring both knees in, wrap around the knees, and just massage your back, rocking side to side. Taking your time to get up to a seated position, you can roll to the side and hang out for a few moments, or you can rock and roll coming to the top. Finding yourself on your sit bones. Part of me wishes I didn't have the microphone so you could hear the birds all around, but I know it, this blocks it off. So just imagine the birds. Tap in today. So if you need some energy, some zest, some creativity, you need that, that you know, spunk, keep your hands open, open and free. If you need more calm, de-stressing, grounding, hands down or hands on the ground. Setting that intention for you. Taking another couple breaths in, grounding spine long. Opening the hands, let's take a full breath in. At the top, we're gonna to turn those palms and just wiggle your fingers, sending glitter and light and grounding mountain energy to everybody on this channel out there that needs that today in whatever recipe that you need you've got it 
Feel your power because it's in there. Exhale and namaste. Namaste, my adventure community. Thank you for doing this flow. And now I invite you to write in the chat how you feel during this flow, how you feel, and you can put AC after class. <laughs> if you're in the beginning, I asked you how you felt before, now you can write after class. If you have more time, you can do this two times through. And I invite you to have the most incredible weekend. Think about the mountains to come. I'm sucking that mountain energy and to whatever you need. Peace out, my friends. And I will see you live in here on Monday for a power juicy class. I can't wait. Rock the day. Let me know you are here. You guys are amazing.